This is called the most miserable YouTuber. And I'm going to assume it has to be about me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I saw somebody um, that was a little upset with a take on Twitter. So I figured I'll take a look. Hey, we are going to be watching this female get triggered by Andrew Tate, the top G, for about 10 minutes. Straight. Ooh, you know what's interesting? <clears throat> right? So it's so interesting. Like the, the, the word female is so interesting because I hear a lot of people, specifically women, Talk about how they don't like the term. I, I guess it's not. It's a lot. Most women don't. I don't think care. But I guess in this sphere, it's a lot. Of, a lot of women talking about how they don't like the term female. And uh, I was always like, "This is stupid. Like, shut up. It's just a term people use." In my experience, it's usually guys that are just trying to be like, you know, so suave and sophisticated with their language, female. But now, as I've been in the high value male sphere, I think I can see why some women find it to be derogatory coming from like this sphere of high value male nature it seems like it's supposed to be a little derogatory you know it's supposed to be like almost like a i don't know it's got a little stank on it you know it's hard to it's hard to fully you know quantify <clears throat> but that's what it feels like so i could see why women are like yeah we don't like this oh yeah just prepare yourself the most unsettling alpha male on tiktok all right so anna marie forcino i don't know who that is but all righty well hello yeah i watched that too so the most uh, a lot of people don't like, don't like this guy. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so Andrew Tate is the, okay. So fundamentally the high value male sphere is very sexist, right? I have no problem with any type of philosophy that betters yourself. I have no problem with somebody, you know, identifying as a man. I identify as a man. I understand that there are differences between men and women. I do understand them. But the reality is we don't need to focus on them. They don't matter when it comes to society. Like, none of it matters. You have particular jobs or tasks. Hey, can you fulfill this? Yes. Boom. That's it. There are plenty of women who do things that just as well or better than other men. There are plenty of men who do something that just as well or better than other women. You can look at specific things like, oh, sports, and be like, men are better, for sure. But then when you look at a business sense, like it doesn't really matter, right? There are just really good workers. These, these like, who's the best of the best doesn't really matter, right? We could play that game, but apparently the highest IQ in the world is a woman. I don't know how. <laughs> must be a trans woman. I'm just kidding. Uh, right? None of this matters, though. These are massive outliers, right? Andrew Tate uh, is somebody who perpetuates this very sexist philosophy. Uh, again, he is somebody who thinks that like men should own women. He thinks that like it's more okay for a man to cheat than a woman. And again, I do understand that men tend to physically cheat and women tend to emotionally cheat. And I would consider physically cheating not as bad as emotionally cheating, but the cadence, the, the cadence, the way that he talks about cheating, it's not like he's like, hey, these are both like, I know he's like, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't cheat. But for men, it's like, yeah, yeah you shouldn't cheat. But if you, you if you mess up sometimes, like, it's OK. That's his energy. I've heard him like say these things. But when a woman does it, it, it is like uh, the worst thing in the world. It's bad in both ways. And there, the way that he speaks, uh, it, fa it, it, it favors or it allows this behavior. It signals to men that this behavior, yeah, you know, if it happens, it happens. Like, it's not acceptable. Because you know what? There are women who just physically cheat. Is it OK for them to cheat because it's physical? You'd say no. Of course not. Right? You shouldn't be cheating. Or you're, you, you shouldn't be in a relationship. I don't really know what to tell you. Things like that. Things like he talks about how uh, men own women, but women don't own men. In a relationship, you both mutually own each other. I mean, I don't know how we're like on square one. I don't know how, right? He talks about how if his girlfriend does OnlyFans, he wants it eighty percent of it. Listen, I, if I if if my my wife did OnlyFans, I would I could be like, yeah, go. You're paying for dinner tonight, but to to take money from them, it's weird. And if you don't understand that, I think it's because you haven't really been in a relationship before. It's one thing to be like, yeah, this woman, like the, my girlfriend, makes a lot of money. I'm gonna have her take me out to dinner. I think that's perfectly reasonable. But to be like, I'm getting a percentage of your pay, is psychotic, right? And he talks a lot about things like this. My theory is that it's because Andrew Tate associates with younger legal girls, but younger girls uh, who are very immature. And so he looks at all women as like very immature young girls with nothing to offer except for their body. Even when he was talking the other day about how he thinks that women are terrible drivers, despite the fact that men get into more accidents. And it's more complex than that because like men tend to drive more as well. Men tend to also drive more erratically. They tend to speed more. They tend to drink and drive more. You can look, observe different patterns from different men and women and see that some like there are probably um, ways that men are better drivers versus women better drivers. Like men have better reaction times, but women don't drive as dangerously. So you don't necessarily need to react if you're not speeding. You know what I'm saying? The reality is, is that if you look at the statistics, though, men tend to be worse drivers. Young men have higher costs of insurance because they're shittier drivers. I think that starts to shift as people get older. Um, but Andrew is like, no, in my personal experience, 
men are better drivers, right? And then he references like, hey, he's like, yeah, if, I, if it's snowing out, I wouldn't let some 18-year-old girl drive. It's like, well, you're 35. So any 18-year-old would be a bad driver. And so I think that he uses his anecdotal experience where he's really just surrounding himself with younger women without very much value because they're young. They haven't really achieved anything. Um, and he's like, yeah, see, this is all women. But if you interacted with women your age, you wouldn't see this trend happening as much or at all. And this is the problem with Andrew Tate. A lot of women have a problem with him. Additionally, a lot of people don't like the fact that he proclaimed, he, proclaimed, he says that he's like a self-made millionaire. I don't really know, but his dad's a famous like world champion chess player. I don't know if you guys can do this. Um, he got made a lot of money doing kickboxing. He invested it in crypto. And then, yeah, he went to Romania and opened up some kind of a weird like webcam sex farm. Like it's really sketchy. Maybe it's not illegal, but it's really sketchy that he did that. And especially the way that he talks about how he would get he he would basically get these women in a place. He would schmooze up to them and he he would basically like in some capacity trap them uh, in there. I don't really know. Maybe he talks about it poorly, but he's there's a walking red flag here, and that's how a lot of women feel. I don't know what to tell you. That being said, let's go. Unsettling out. Hates that he doesn't date women past twenty four or five. Exactly. You're not going to really accomplish much at all as anybody. For the most part, by 24 or 25. For male on TikTok. Alrighty, well, hello, sinners. How are ya? Oh, no. Y'all okay. better leave a like on this video. This is not going to be fun. Today, okay. we'll be looking at the personification of those wooden mannequins you drew in our class. Okay. A.K.A. Andrew Tate. Was that supposed to be a joke? Like, serious question. Yes. Andrew Tate is a personified wooden mannequin? What does that make you, then? A personified Snorlax? Like, what? Not only oh. is Andrew an international kickboxing champion, an entrepreneur, a big baller, if you will, you can also pay Andrew an additional 36 pounds a month to learn how to make that cheddar. Well, And that's one thing that people need to understand. I've noticed this across every single high-value man that I've come across. All of them will sell you a bullshit basically like self-help scheme right um that's what they do they usually seem to target young <laughs> ignorant men that don't have anything going for them in their life and it seems like they're looking for a reason that they're failing and a lot of times they point that at women i don't know but it doesn't i mean i don't know what to tell you <laughs> The all these like seminar get quick rich scheme type of things. That's what this really falls under the under the uh, the, the the dome of. Um, it's like it's God, usually a scam. Those, and like that's pretty cheap, I'll say for because most of them is like it's it's only seven hundred dollars a course, one hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred dollars a course, sixty eight pounds. What is that like eighty dollars in American a month? Is that how much they said? You can also pay Andrew an additional $36. Oh, $36. Okay, what is that, like 40 45 bucks? Okay. I mean, that's pretty cheap, but considering. Pounds a month to learn how to make that cheddar. Well, listen, I'm not Andrew Tate, but the first step to getting your cheddar... Yeah, sorry, I shouldn't be hating on the top G. ...better up is to stop eating it all the time. I'll give you that piece of uh, advice right for her. free. You don't even gotta join Ooh. Hustlers University for that. Besides showing off... Woo! I mean, I would say you shouldn't really be commenting on anybody's body, but she did make... She did say Andrew Tate looks like a wooden mannequin. So I guess I can't really defend her that much on that point, you know, unfortunately, you know, you throw your hat into the, you throw your hat into the, uh, what is it called? What is it called? The body shaming arena. And unfortunately you're going to, you're going to get, uh, they're going to get that same energy back, you know? his extravagant lifestyle, Andrew uses his online platforms to teach other men how to live a shallow existence. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Living a shallow... Yeah, pretty much. ...shallow existence? If being a multi-millionaire kickboxer that can do whatever you want whenever you want is somehow shallow, then please, Mrs. Awful Reaction Videos, tell me, how do um, I live a non-shallow existence? I want... So, like, you need to understand, Andrew Tate doesn't say become a world champion kickboxer. He promotes an ideology that is 100% financially driven and like there's literally no love or emotions when it comes to women. This is the way Andrew Andrew Tate doesn't is not in love with women. He doesn't love women. He doesn't understand what it's like to build a mature relationship with a mature woman that has the ability to, to communicate themselves. He thinks women are only valuable for their bodies. You can listen to what he's saying. That is something I would consider a very shallow existence. You're not stimulated in any capacity. You're taught you're dating young uh, immature girls that you can't relate to because they're 10, 15 years younger than you. You're 35, they're 18, 19, 20. You know, like yeah, you're going to have a shallow life. It's a very, is there's not a whole lot of depth there. What do you think the conversations are like? They're not there. What he's, what she's saying is true. You can be shallow and rich. In fact, we've learned that as we grew up, all the rich people are shallow. They don't care about anything, right? 
And that's probably true because in my experience, like struggling with somebody is probably the best way to really get, you know, stay together. Like my wife and I, we know we've, we we struggled for a bit, you know, and now we're together and we love each other. We look back at those struggles as like a badge of honor. We're like, I love that. I'm not saying that everybody should struggle, but I'm saying that there can be a bit of a galvanizing reality to struggle linked with somebody. And when you're rich, you can, you literally cannot struggle with people, right? I think that's it's probably makes it difficult to, to form relationships because, you know, what are you what are you really bonding over? Oh, let's go have fun. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's cool. You know, my wife and I can have a lot of fun, but like you, there's no there's no true struggle to bond over, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, right? And again, he doesn't date older women. He doesn't date women his age. He doesn't date somebody that can intellectually stimulate him. He just kind of stays in his sphere and dates women that will shut up and listen. You know, your advice. And to say the least, his content is quite unsettling. Yeah, his content sure, it, yeah. it's quite unsettling. It's a yikes. It's a yikes from me. Girls come to me and go, "Yeah, I beat it up." I was like, "Oh yeah, okay, cool." No, I mean it. No, bitch, I mean it. This guy's like a okay, super villain in a comic book. I know I'm alone in my. I don't really know. I mean, beat up that pussy, but I don't really know. What to, I don't know anything what just happened there. My room right now, but I still feel the urge to cover my drink just in case he figures out how to jump through a computer screen. Cover your drink? What? I thought incoming fat joke. I thought she was gonna say if Andrew Tate could jump out of the computer screen that she would enter a fighting stance. But I guess protecting oh, I guess that not. drink is more important. Pants, I'll just start beating. It. Oh well, she's. Wait, what? The. Wait. Screen that she would enter a fighting stance. But I guess protecting that drink is more important. Okay, so the only reason I'm like confused is because she's making a joke about how like men will slip roofies into a drink. I don't think that this guy did you not understand that? Maybe he didn't get that joke. I feel like he might not have gotten the joke. <laughs> like, yeah, logically it makes more sense to get into a fighting stance if he jumps through the screen. But I still understand what her joke was. Uh, but okay. Pants, I'll just start beating the shit out of you. How about that? We walk in the bedroom. I start kicking your ass. No. Nope. What the fuck? Wait, so she's talking about beat that that pussy up, and then he's like, I'll beat the shit out of you. Why would this be his response? That's insane. No sex. No sex involved. But you cry then. So just assault. Just straight up assault and battery. Yeah. How does a girl asking you to be rough in the bedroom translate to her challenging you to a fight? Okay. You know what's interesting? I watch Andrew Taney talks about how he doesn't really enjoy sex, which is very interesting. Uh, not that much, at least. And it's interesting to me for a couple of reasons. For one, maybe he just doesn't ever enjoy the, the, the act. Two, though, I think it's more to do with the fact that he doesn't engage with women that are good in bed because they're younger girls. Again, legal, but younger girls. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, listen, I, I'm not kidding when I say fuck an adult, an adult woman, like a, a more mature woman. You know, if you if you think that fucking a girl with like because he thinks that like a girl with a high body count is like bad blah, blah 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 if you think fucking a girl with a body count over two is bad you're not gonna have usually you're probably not gonna have very good sex um you need to have sex with somebody that's more mature <laughs> somebody with a little bit more life experience um somebody a little older that has had because even if you don't have like a lot of sex you could still get used to fucking the same like the best sex you'll ever have is with somebody you've been with for a while because you'll get better at it every time. You'll get better at being more attentive, what that person likes. It doesn't really seem like he forms long-term bonds with anybody that's mature. And so, like, he, I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying, you know, he's, he's, I guess he's missing out. Okay, so let's go slow here. It actually doesn't, and that's why it's a joke, okay? What? You got it? Are, are, are you caught up yet? He was being not serious. I, I think... Okay, well, it's still weird. I mean, like, yeah, you can't just say everything is a joke and then be like, oh, it's just a joke. How, LOL, you're stupid. It's like, yes, we understand that jokes exist, but that doesn't mean the joke. Like, if if I make a joke about, like, if you make, like, a really intense joke about beating the shit out of somebody, like, that's uncomfortable. Like, if we're just hanging out together, I'm like, yeah, I can just beat the living shit out of you right now, bro. And then I slap you on the back. I'm just kidding. You might feel uncomfortable. That's how they're. That's how she's feeling. Okay, you could. I understand Andrew Tate doesn't actually beat the shit out of women in bed. I mean, I'd hope not. But it's still an uncomfortable red flag. If you make jokes, if I make jokes about how I think that, um, I don't know, some particular person of color is gross because of their uh, identity, you know, you might think I'm racist. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm just joking. It doesn't mean I'm not racist. Now, you probably would like that. You guys are part of the commentary community. But, like, you could see how people would be like, mm, you're a little too comfortable making those jokes. I'm not saying he does those things. But, like, this is response is normal. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Okay. Especially since you missed that joke about covering her drink. Okay. So, you know. Got him. I think 
think we I think we missed a couple chapters here, Andrew. Like, how do we get to this conclusion? Yeah, this is definitely a sign of a well-adjusted human who should be allowed around the general public. Okay, why are you acting like he is an actual murderer? Like, he's not Ted Bundy. He's not about to go shoot up an orphanage and ruin his life. Like, he I don't think Ted Bundy did that. He actually has shit to lose, unlike you. We shouldn't let him near society, guys! Please, get a grip. If you need to escape a hostile country, okay. you need to get the last flight out of Saigon. You can't do it without finding your post! What? What is happening here? Oh, let me Anonymous those. tipped one dollar. Beat me up, big gum. I love it. Alright, <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> I don't even get the joke he's making. Is he just making a joke about how women need their purses? I'm confused. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous girls do not know their expiry dates. This man's gonna go full Karen one day and send a strongly worded email to Jansport. Oh, snap. That was a good one, dude. Uh, Cause you know, Karen memes and like strongly worded emails. Oh yeah. damn, that one that one hit me right in the funny bone. Like Jokes aside too. though, yeah, I do agree that it's important to memorize certain phone numbers and such, just in case you- do Oh, that was the point he was making? That you should memorize numbers? What? Do you wind up in an emergency? But golly okay. gee, Andrew, you might be overreacting just a tad, okay? Yeah, yeah it's, probably, it's probably part of his bit. What? Dude, it's supposed to be animated and charismatic to grab people's attention. You're at like a 10 right now? Let's let's bring it down to a 3. How about we do that? Okay, stop. You're not a school teacher. You don't have to behave like one. I don't see the point in having female friends. Any real G out there knows it's true. You got your girl or your girls. Or your oh, yeah, I'm sh <laughs> uh yeah okay i mean listen i know i could i i i know what he's saying you know listen it's one of those things where like why why associate with a girl if you can't get some stuff out of it you know but i mean some men and women are friends and they, they don't they're not necessarily attracted to each other but whatever okay sure you're slamming mad p with that attitude Probably. I mean, he's rich. He doesn't even have to have a... He could smell like fucking garbage and be 700 pounds. He's going to get pussy because he's a millionaire. You know what I mean? I don't understand why people who are sad or depressed are so desperate to convince happy people like me that their life and their mindset is correct and okay. No one... Oh, interesting. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay, he's saying that, like, he lives... Like, okay, so basically what it sounds like he's saying is he has the high value male bullshit and people are like, you're, that's wrong. You're sexist. And he's like, yeah, you're depressed. And it's your, it's your perspective that makes you depressed. The reality is, is like, if you have money and you're a little ignorant, you're going to be less depressed, right? A lot of people's depression comes from their inability to pay for their existence, right? They get, and then it's depression just creates more depression. Um, I'm not saying that there aren't benefits to what Andrew Tate's saying. There probably are. You know, like the self-motivating stuff can be good for some people. It's just the sexism for me, you know. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, people can be happy. Like, I'm happy and I think that you're sexist. Well, I know that you are. And like, I don't live by your ideology, but I'm happy. Like, I make it's you know, honestly, I make decent money. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have financial stressors. That was the biggest stressor in my life. Um, so I don't think it's tied to the philosophy, per se. I think it's more tied to the amount of money that you can make. And I know that you'd be like, yeah, but his self-help book will help you. Okay, stop. Because it's not going to really do anything for you. Okay. Um, you keep wasting your money, brother. You know? Anyone struggling with mental health issues is going to sit here and tell you that the way they think is okay. That they choose to live this way because it's correct or whatever. In fact, it's quite the opposite because no one wants to suffer. No one's trying to promote depression. And as someone who actively struggles with depression. Somebody in my chat said this, that um, they went to school with a Cheeto. They said this kid was in my school and he's just as unfunny and annoying in real life. <laughs> I right, listen. I didn't say it, brother. All right. I think you're okay. Don't worry. Okay. I don't think you're a bad guy. Okay. I don't think you're a bad guy. And guessed it. Guessed it. So Sorry. Trying to promote depression, and as someone who actively struggles with depression, yeah. guessed it, guessed it. Sorry, okay. but I guessed it. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're out here not being able to understand the most obvious joke and whining about men with successful lives, like, no shit, you're depressed. All right, bro, chill. Um, I don't think that's exactly what they're doing, but okay. You're a loser. I agree, you're a loser, son. Convincing me you're a loser is not gonna make you any less of a fucking loser. The only thing that's gonna make you less of a loser is if you try and sit there and go, you know what, this take guy's right. He's got a whole bunch of shit I ain't got. Maybe I should start thinking like him. What a blatant display of someone with no empathy or <laughs> compassion whatsoever. He's not hey guys, make sure that you have a rich dad that's a world chess champion and that can set you up for success. Just be like me. <laughs> Just be like me. I have a rich uh, dad. Look, I'm not kidding. This, I, I'm, I'm just saying it. Not even wrong though. Like if I'm sitting here thinking, well, my life sucks. Why would I not want to take time and reflect on that and maybe take advice from people whose life don't suck? Why are you trying to? 
Yeah, it's, you could take advice, but it doesn't mean his whole ideology is right. I mean, he has a sexist ideology, so. Change the thoughts of a happy person. I don't want to think like you. You're fucking miserable. I'm happy. You are? You don't think that world champion chess makes a lot of money? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Let's see. Um, how much does world champion chess make? Let's see. Uh, while the vast majority of pro chess players are not rich, the best chess players in the world make over $100,000 uh, from the game of chess. Uh, Magnus Carlsen and some other people who played in 2019 world chess made over a million dollars each the past two years from solely winning chess. Okay. So probably not rich, but he might have made a decent amount of money. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know if there's any way to figure out how much. Let's see. Andrew Tate's dad, Emery Tate, right? Um, I wonder, I don't think that there's a way to figure out how much he made. I wonder. How good was he? He was very good. Oh, this was in 20, 2006. So I wonder how like good, good it was, you know? Um, yeah, I guess he's not rich. How much? Yeah, I guess he can't make a lot of money from chess. He wasn't rich. His parents split up and his dad wasn't around. Oh, the lore gets deeper. Interesting. 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 You just, okay. His dad wasn't around. How could, uh, I guess that explains that. Okay, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Could have fooled me. This Sorry. I don't want to think like you. You're fucking miserable. I'm happy. You are? Yeah, he probably is happy. Could have fooled me. This is the face of a happy person, everyone. Well, I mean, I don't, I, listen, here's my thing. It's like, I don't think that you need to cope that hard. <laughs> like, just because you disagree with his ideology, do, like, doesn't mean he's unhappy. Like, he probably is happy. And the reason he's probably happy is because, again, he's rich. There you go. He's rich. <laughs> he has a lot of money, and he seems a little bit ignorant. I'm not trying to be rude, but ignorance is bliss. I don't think that he explores anything with any level of, like, introspection. I don't think he really tries to, you know, so of course he's going to be happier. You know, I feel like people who uh, he's probably not an overthinker. A lot of people who overthink are, are depressed. They're just constantly thinking, thinking, thinking. They never turn their brains off. I, I have those moments sometimes, you know, for one. Wait, what? Didn't she just say you shouldn't make fun of people who are depressed? But then she's like, well, Andrew's probably depressed. He doesn't look very happy. But you know who does know okay. what's good for chicks? Their father. Their father. Andrew, we're... But didn't we just say Andrew didn't grow up with his father? Wait, is, did Andrew and Kate not grow up with his dad? Because if that's true, that kind of makes sense to me as to why maybe he treats women like shit because his dad apparently treated his... I don't know. I'm just saying. It seems like he has a bit of a disrespect for women. Does he blame his mother for the leaving? I mean, I guess I don't know his family life. It's just weird to me, bro. It's just bizarre to me. He doesn't have like, I, I just, I, he doesn't have like a, a particular amount of respect for women. When a king had a son, yeah. he wasn't staying at home changing diapers. He was conquering new lands and True. going to battle yeah. for the name, for the bloodline, to set example for his yeah. son to graze into, right? Dad's sure. out here, he's conquered this, he's built this castle, he's out there, he slayed those people. I'm the next. I but most people, just so you know, back in the day, they didn't have castles. There was like a couple of guys, maybe like four guys, you know? <laughs> had, everybody else was just abused to death. They were abused until they died young. Um, I'll go do something. That's how a king raises a son, by example. So I guess we're just going to skip the parts in history where several princes killed their fathers so they could take the throne? Hey, just like the Sith. Just like this, there can only be two. Sith Lord style. And if you didn't kill your Sith master, they killed you. Okay. Epic All Star he's saying Wars is that kings who were rulers are good yeah. examples for their son. Yeah. Okay, that's it. At this point, I'm just yeah. convinced you're just wanting. Well, he was really just saying that they didn't take care of their children and didn't do things like changing diapers. They conquered the world. That's what he's saying. He didn't necessarily say good for your son, but they're out there slang slanging, slanging dragons and shit. I think you disagree with him because, like, let's talk about how men are men and they shouldn't really uh, go into like the territory of what women do. You shouldn't be changing diapers. I, I mean, okay, I don't know. You know what I mean? That's that really his point. I don't think it was so much about like his son being good for dad. By example. So I guess he's out there, he slayed those people. I'm the next. I'm gonna go do something. Yeah, he's a bit, he, he's being an example. He's setting an example for his kid, but he also, you know, I don't want to change the diapers. Uh, okay. I disagree with him because, like, 
examples for their son. Okay. 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 That's it. Okay. At this point, okay. I'm just convinced sure. you're just sure. wanting yeah, to true. disagree with true. him because, like, for yeah. content, like, you just want to have more reasons to disagree yeah. so you have more time in your video to fill. Well, I will say that, like, it's easy to disagree with Andrew Tate in her sphere. It's like you just shit on Andrew Tate. It doesn't really matter if you say things that might be, like, wrong um, because, like, he's so hated outside of the high value male sphere that like you it's one of those people like you can lie on them like in this community h3 is the andrew tate you can say anything you want about ethan klein doesn't matter if it's true or false boom people are going to eat it up because they hate him so much in this community an adult who is allowed to drive a car and vote and have an opinion three so you have more time in your video to fill an adult who is allowed to drive a car and vote and have an opinion do that how can you be allowed to have an opinion on the real world or drive an automobile when you go one, two, three, like this? He really said that if you count with your thumb first, you shouldn't be allowed to drive a car. Yeah, that's a totally sane and normal take. You know what's funny about that, though? You could consider that, I guess you'd say xenophobic, because that's how German people count, like one, two, three. Um, and like, I think that there's some, some kind of weird biological aspect to it. I remember watching, I think, Inglorious Bastards, and one of the things that they did to identify if they were German or not uh, is the way that they counted, right? Because German count, people count one, two, three. I guess other people count like this. And the reason I say that uh, in a way where I'm saying that it's more um, inherent to German people and not something that's socially learned is because I've always felt more comfortable doing this. This is how I count. One, two, three, four, five. I learned one, two, three, four, five, but it weirdly hurts my hands. So I count like this. It's just easier. This is just how I count. It's just more comfortable for me to do this, and so like oh, I, I, he's not being he's not being uh, like xenophobic or whatever in any capacity. It's just like an interesting tidbit, isn't it? But that's not social. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna light you on fire and throw you into a river of acid. Okay, I just told you I was taught socially to count like this, but it's uncomfortable, so I counted like this. That's not social. What are you on heroin? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you on about? Are you listening to what I'm saying, motherfucker? Okay, I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four, five seconds to get the fuck out of my chat. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just with you. Uh, you are heroin, awesome. J O K E. Can you, uh, can you read out what I just spelt? Okay, it's a it's joke. So it's like when you're not serious, you know, bro. He not serious, Nazi. See, we all tied it in. This guy doesn't like Germans. Literally said, like, oh, yeah, if you count to three, starting with your thumb, you shouldn't have the right to drive. Like, I can't think of a more obvious example of hyperbolics. That's like me in my down bad videos when I see somebody who sent a cringy message and I say, that person should go to jail. I don't think they should actually go to jail. Food and water is all you put in your body, and the idea is that you yeah. derive power from And cum. Penis as well. Some people, not me. I didn't say that. Look at this power. Ooh. This just comes from the food I eat. Ooh. You're telling me you're going to get power from sushi? <laughs> the Rock eats sushi. Sushi's really good for carb backloading. <laughs> uh, sushi's just good, bro. Oh, piece of floppy fish, some rice in a circle. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, fellas. These are some of like the dumbest. <laughs> These say I've never seen these. It's so funny because usually when you when I when I explore this sphere, it's always like these weird. Uh, it's always like serious takes where he's like being sexist or something. These are just preposterous and they're like ridiculous and like they're kind of funny. Like they're just dumb. Like the sparkling water take. I only drink sparkling water. Like it's in weird, insane takes. Like they're kind of they're goofy and kind of silly. Is it gay to eat sushi? Yeah, it is a little gay to eat sushi, but that's okay. It's okay to be gay, you know. Like, you're supposed to eat sushi with the with sticks. Boop. Like, that's gay. You know what I mean? After all, only the fruitiest of fruits enjoy eating rice in a circle. But wouldn't True. you think that True. sushi would be a good source of protein for him to, like, build muscle or whatever since it's fish? Um, It's not, like, a particularly, like, protein-dense. Probably fattier because it's fish. There might be some good acids, like, uh, fatty acids and, and, like, you know, oils and whatnot in it. That could pr probably be pretty beneficial health-wise. Um, But, yeah... No, nutrient-wise, it would be more for... It's more of like a cheat snack that's not super unhealthy. You know what I mean? That's really that's really how, like, you know, as, a, as like an athletic person would probably look at that. But it's not like a high source of protein. It's probably fattier. There's also carbs in it because there's fucking rice in there as well. Um, this is the kind of alpha dude to preach about how the world is too sensitive, yet he gets triggered over backpacks, water bottles, 
Using your thumb to count- Yeah, just so you know, him getting quote-unquote triggered- It would've been funnier if you counted with your thumb. That would've made it funnier. Figured that is the joke. Do you think he's genuinely up at night, being upset that people count starting with their thumb? No, obviously maybe. not. So the f maybe, imagine he does that. The fact that he's actually getting in hysterics over something as trivial as that is the funny. You idiot. Uh, and in terms of him complaining about how uh, people are- Very funny. Very funny jokes. Are too sensitive? You are kind of the perfect example to prove that point. Very the funny. The reason everyone stares is because they can sense their powers being stolen from them. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Does this man think he's crazy? That's crazy. Dude, the reason why everyone stares at you is because you're a misogynistic creep. Oh, staring at him. They're probably just looking at him because he's probably a big guy that's muscular. Let's see. How tall... Oh my god. How tall... Fuck! Fuck! Is Andrew Tate. 6'1". Yeah, he's a big muscular guy. That's probably why they're staring at him. That's pretty, it's not that deep, I don't think. <laughs> and maybe he is stealing our powers. You never really know, I guess. You just can't with these people, man. Like, after a while, they're just like, catchphrase, catchphrase. Oh, look at me, I use the keyword misogynist and the keyword freak and creep. Have I proved my point yet? I don't even have to do anything. I just, it's just who I am now. I mean, I'm, just, I'm so un subconscious to me. We got powers, that's why you, brother. If you're unhappy, you deserve it because you are not absorbing energy from other individuals. You need to find a way to steal the energy from others. There's only so much energy in the world. Give me your cum, Andrew. I'll still, I'll suck it out of you. Suck it out of your soul. You do not have enough of it. This man really said that the only way to be happy is by sucking the life out of everyone around you. It's Just true. become the most- It's true. That is true. That's what my ex-girlfriend did. <laughs> insufferable energy vampire until no one wants to hang out with you anymore. God, he seems like the most exhausting person to be around. Now, I'm going to be honest, and it's going to sound like I'm- That's actually a good question. Do you think Andrew Tate would actually be- interesting to be around though i feel like he might actually be exhausted i know that like some of the things he does is he's it's not all a character like most people are are more exaggerated for of themselves on when it comes to this type of presence so he's probably this person just not as intense maybe but do you think that he might be kind of annoying i feel like he would be annoying to hang out with he's the guy that like he's the unmarried guy that if he had a wife he would only complain about her all the time like i hate married men that do that they just won't they just always can bitch and moan about their fucking like why'd you marry them you know what i mean I, I feel like he would, I don't think he would be a great guy to hang out with. He'd be kind of boring. I don't really think that anything's going to come out of his mouth that would be like interesting to me. He'd probably go off on some kind of a conspiracy theory because he does think COVID was a conspiracy theory. I mean, if you listen to him talk, I, could, I don't think I could be around that person. Dick riding, but nah, he seems like he'd be awesome to hang around. Whereas I doubt it, bro. I don't, I don't know how you'd say that because he's got money. I guess so. Maybe he'll take you out driving in his Bugatti. One of his 12 Bugattis. As you, on the other hand, I hang out with you, what's gonna happen? You're gonna, like, show me your setup, and we're just gonna stare at the ceiling? That girl, you can probably fuck her, you know? You can't really fuck Andrew Tate. That'd be kind of gay, you know? Maybe you'll have five close friends in your life that you know for years and years. People you work together with, people you make money with. If you're sitting there going, I don't have a close friend I make money with, then you're a f idiot. Because what are your friends for? It's not for conquering the world. It's true. My wife's my best friend. We conquer in the world, baby. Me and my friends sit down on chest with Me and my friends sit down anywhere. All we talk about is how to make more money. This Whoa, kind of that's crazy. Attitude to me is just really sad because why? Big grind sad, baby. Why do you feel the need to turn every relationship in your life into a business transaction? Because by getting money, you get power, and with power, you can achieve anything. And why would? And you can become a Sith Lord. Why would you not want to have a friend where the common goal between the two of you is to gain the most power and achieve the most in your life? And I feel like that's up to you, per. I wouldn't really want to hang out with somebody where I'm only talking about how to like make money. It just sounds like not something I want to do in my off time. But like the fact that he does that, you know, God bless you. Do your thing, brother. You know? How disconnected from everything do you have to be in order to claim that what I just said is apparently a sad outlook on life? Anyways, though, that I think that you're saying that like it's like, what do you do for fun then? What do you do to relax? What do you do to unwind? You know, that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, comment down why you're right. a few yeah. minutes to the end of the video and I'll try to heart your comment. Big thanks to all my channel members. As always, you guys rock. Follow my social. All right. Oh, something. Uh... Thank you so much for watching, guys, and another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.